A new study shows that growing up poor changes us at the genetic level, leaving its mark on nearly 10% of the genes in the human genome. Poverty doesn't just affect a child's chances for the future, it appears to change the DNA of the poor. Previously, scientists believed that genes are determined and fixed at birth, but it turns out the human genome can be changed based on an individual's socioeconomic status. When researchers from Northwestern University conducted a genome-wide analysis on 500 participants, they identified more than 2,500 sites of DNA methylation, affecting 1,537 genes among children that are raised in low socioeconomic status conditions. DNA methylation is a key epigenetic mark that has the potential to shape gene expression. But what are the consequences of these genetic changes, and how do they affect a child's development? Although researchers are not sure what the exact functions of these genes are, many of them play a role in immune responses to infection, skeletal development, and the development of the nervous system. Compared with children born into relative wealth, those who become poor later in life didn't show any significant differences. Since current estimates put the total count of protein coding genes in our genome at close to 20,000, these changes could affect up to nearly 10% of our genes. And this is not the first time DNA has been linked to poverty. Another study showed that living in poverty can cause changes to people's DNA that make them more likely to become depressed, anxious, and possibly take drugs. Researchers in the United States found that teenagers from deprived backgrounds tended to experience changes to a gene that increased the activity of a part of the brain involved in the fight-or-flight response and panic attacks. This increased activity in the amygdala has been linked to a greater risk of depression. They also found that a low socioeconomic status was associated with low levels of serotonin, sometimes referred to as the happiness hormone. These epigenetic changes can then be passed on to the next generation, which can help explain why depression appears to run in some of the poorest families. The World Health Organization estimates some 1.2 billion people across the globe are making their way through life on less than a dollar per day. Policies and charities that provide health support can only go so far, especially when the consequences of poverty stretch beyond the childhood years. Could a better understanding of the biomarkers of lower socioeconomic statuses help raise kids out of poverty? Perhaps continued research can fuel the fight to raise kids growing up below the poverty line into higher socioeconomic brackets. It could be the case that one major way to help reduce poverty numbers is to invest in the mental health of the poor. Music